In this video we're going to look at implementing option A and option A is about finding and displaying a fixture. Um, so we've got a format in which we have to display it. So we've got the number, the date, the nickname, etc. But no uh, time is being uh, displayed. Um, there's this thing which says it must be validated. Um, and so what we'll, and that we have to read data from the file. So what we'll do is we'll just um, leave the validating for the moment and just see whether we can at least find a fixture and display it in this format and then we'll come back and think about how to validate things. So one way of doing this is uh, we already have assigned all lines to getting hold of a uh, clean data from here. So one way of doing this is going through all of these one at a time and then um, if a particular fixture number is found, for example 182, which is just at the top there, then it displays the date, uh, not the time, but it displays this string and then it displays this part of the string um, and then it leaves the winning one um, out because it's blank. Um, but that's really what we're looking for, uh, that being displayed in a particular format. So one thing that we can do is we can use a for loop just like we uh, used before and go through each line and if the first element of the row, which we can use using square brackets zero, is equal to a particular number, then we can just say, okay, we'll print the details. So let's, uh, let's see how we can do that. So we would say something like for temp in all lines. So this is exactly how we construct a, a, a for loop. Uh, so then we're going to say if temp, if the first part of temp is equal to, now this data is a string, so we'll keep it as a string. So if it equals to that, then, then we can do our printing. Then we can print out all of those things that uh, need uh, printing one after the other. So we'd probably do something like uh, this. Then we want to print out the, the um, fixture number, which is at zero. And then we want to follow that by uh, not the not the time, which is the next element, but the date on which it took uh, place. So, for example, um, we've got at zero, we've got um, the number, and at one, we've got the time. So we don't want, uh, sorry, uh, at one, we've got the date, then we've got the time. So what we want to do is we want to uh, include the date, but miss out the time. So let's build this up one after the other. So I've uh, cheated a bit. I've made the headings uh, shorter. Obviously, you're not allowed to do that. Um, but uh, just for the purposes of this, to speed up the uh, video watching, I've just uh, shortened the, the titles. And, uh, and what I did to help is I went and had a look at the structure of the file, which is given here. So it's always got the fixture number, and then it's got the date, the time, which we have to miss out. And then it's got first player's nickname, second player's nickname. Um, but if we have a look at what we should be uh, printing, so we could print fixture, fixture, player one, player two, fixture, winning on the first line, and then underneath that, print number, date, nickname, uh, nickname played, and nickname again and then each of the items uh, that are associated with that. So at the moment we're just going to check whether the for loop is working and so let's um, run this and see what happens. So when I run this it's picked out, it's pro uh, printed num and then date etc and then it's printed out um, the number and the date and the first nickname and the second nickname. This particular one hasn't been played yet. Um, so if I wanted to search for a different fixture, let's search for one which is higher up uh, where things have been played and I run this. And it prints out uh, that particular one uh, for me. So 
I know that I could just change this number here and it would then print out that fixture. Um, so these, this section of code, that's enough for getting the basics of option A completed. So let's go ahead and call this our function. So let's start off by calling it option A and tabbing all of this in equally in relation to each other. And this doesn't need to return anything back to us. All it needs to do is print things out. But now to make this a general purpose uh, function, what we're going to do is we are going to say, I'm expecting you to give me a number and I'm expecting you to give me a fixture number. So this is just the name of any variable. You could call this fnum if you wanted to. I've just called it fixnum. You could call it fixture num. Um, so this function, we're going to give it a number. And then what we're going to say is instead of using 11, I want you to use whatever number I give you over here. So we change this to fixnum. And because this is the name of a variable, we don't put this in uh, quotes because this is the same uh, uh, parameter that we are using here to define our function. So if we save and run this, I should be able to um, call option A. So option A, but it requires me to give it a, a number, a fixture number. Um, and I know that that's got to be a string because in our file, all of the uh, individual data in our list of lists is a string. So let's call it with the very first line. Uh, so option A doesn't, uh, uh, option A, uh, the fixture number zero doesn't exist. And if you run it with 182, then it uh, prints out the information for 182. But just to make sure that other option numbers also exist, so let's just run it with uh, fixture 1, and that prints out the very first row. Um, so what we need to do uh, in the next video, um, I'm just going to show you how to uh, format this a little bit better, and whether there is um, a better way than this of uh, working out what needs to be printed.